The Tesla Semi is the most significant Tesla vehicle from a logistical perspective. The fact that Tesla is foraying boldly into the transportation market with the Semi truck by this point shouldn't be breaking news. When it comes to upending industries for the better, Elon Musk intends to leave no stone unturned. He accomplishes this not only by developing future-oriented automobiles that are more technologically advanced and efficient, but also through the design of the factories he constructs to make such automobiles. A manufacturing facility the size of 138 football fields, trails for hiking and biking along a boardwalk, an ecological haven with butterflies, fish in the stream and birds in the trees. Where is the location of this dynamic factory and what cutting-edge automobiles will be created there? The Tesla Semi is a Class 8 semi-truck that is entirely battery-powered and electric. Two concept automobiles were unveiled in November 2017, and production is scheduled to start in 2023. With its upgraded batteries, the truck would be able to travel 400 miles, 640 kilometers, after an 80% charge in 30 minutes using a solar-powered Tesla Mega Charger charging station. The truck would have a range of 500 miles, 805 kilometers on a full charge. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, said that Tesla Autopilot, which enables partially automated highway driving, will be standard equipment on the semi. At the press conference in November 2017, Elon Musk also mentioned that his business would be establishing a global network of mega chargers that would be solar-powered and could give a truck's batteries enough electricity to go 400 miles, 640 kilometers in 30 minutes. The first mention of the semi came in Tesla's 2016 master plan. Tesla claimed to have a working prototype utilizing a bunch of Model 3 electric motors at the time of the announcement. Jerome Guillen came to be in charge of developing the Tesla Semi in April 2017. Previously, Guillen was in charge of the Cascadia diesel engine Class 8 Semi truck for Freightliner before joining Tesla to configure the Model S production line. He left the Semi program a year later to oversee one of the Model 3 General Assembly lines, and in September 2018, he was named Tesla President of Automotive. Thereafter, Tesla started examining potential locations in eight states in the central United States in 2019 and 2020. The Tesla Gigafactory, which is envisioned as a vast manufacturing complex, drew interest from a number of local organizations and government bodies in the United States. Some expressed interest in lowering hurdles to regulation, simplifying the land purchase process, and thinking about tax incentives. Some people use social media marketing to get in touch with Elon Musk directly. By May 2020, Tesla was in the midst of a hiring procedure. Tesla anticipated beginning mass production by the end of 2021 and reaching its production capacity in 2022. On the shortlist were Austin, Texas, Nashville, Tennessee, and Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tesla had traveled to two locations in the Tulsa region by the middle of May. Austin was chosen by Tesla as the location in July 2020. When completed, the Gigafactory Texas will be the world's largest lithium-ion battery manufacturing facility and will be located near the city of Austin in Texas. The plant will produce the Tesla Cybertruck and Tesla Semi, as well as the Model 3 and Model Y automobiles for the eastern United States. To coincide with the presentation of its financial results for the second quarter, Tesla released four images of the massive car plant it is building just east of Austin in July 26 of last year. An overhead view of construction with a slew of workers can be seen in the photos taken from both inside and outside of the so-called Gigafactory Texas. The building of the plant appeared to be nearing its conclusion. Initially described in a report to the Texas state government, Tesla's plans for 280 acres of the 2,100-acre site it purchased for $97 million are still in the works. The design included a sizable rectangular manufacturing complex immediately east of Texas Highway 130, extending from close to the Colorado River north to roughly Harold Green Road. The complex has a footprint of 7.9 million square feet, 138 football fields, if parking spaces are included. Since neither Tesla spokespersons nor Elon Musk himself has spoken on the matter, it is still unclear what Tesla will do with the 1,800 acres of the site that is still available. According to Wedbush Securities analyst Daniel Ives, Tesla was expected to do a significant amount of further work at the site, but he cautioned that the company has a history of keeping its intentions under wraps. Ives said, I see ultimately them making this much more than a typical factory. It's not just about the factory. 
Apparently, the extra room was retained for testing their enormous semi-trucks in the open, and it turns out he was right. According to Ives, Tesla will also need a test driving facility. There is a lot more timber to chop ahead in terms of development after the initial 280 acres, he said. In the meantime, none of the public facilities that Elon Musk highlighted when announcing plans to build the facility here in July appear to be depicted on the site design that was submitted to the city. However, those may be shown in later phases. Elon Musk promised at the time, we are going to make it a factory that is going to be stunning. It is right on the Colorado River, so we are actually going to have a boardwalk where there will be a hike and biking trail. It will essentially be an ecological paradise, with animals like birds, butterflies, and fish swimming in the stream. Additionally, it will be accessible to everyone. It won't be restricted to Tesla customers exclusively. That is how he described the aforementioned public facilities. Tax credits of at least $60 million were provided by Travis County and the Del Valley School System to aid with the business's recruitment. The state did not provide any financial incentives to the corporation for the construction of the facility, which is planned to employ 5,000 people. Tesla currently produces 70% of its vehicles in Fremont, California, and the remaining 30% in a facility in China that the company opened at the end of 2020. In addition to the Austin factory, Tesla is currently building an assembly facility in Germany. Now that we are aware of everything there is to know about the plant, let's briefly discuss what is known about the Tesla semi-truck. Apparently, in reaction to Elon Musk's statement about Tesla's work on a heavy-duty, long-range semi-truck at a presentation in April 2017, researchers at the Carnegie Mellon College of Engineering conducted a theoretical examination of electric semi-trucks in the middle of 2017. Based on the current battery technology, the study determined the weights and driving ranges of an electric semi and released its findings in June 2017. According to the calculations, an electric semi might be feasible for short or medium distance hauling, but not for long distance hauling since the weight of the required batteries would exceed the weight allowed by law. According to one estimate, the battery weight would be 11,800 kilograms, or about one-third of the payload, increasing the truck's capital cost to about twice what it would be for a diesel-powered counterpart. Others have also questioned the Class 8 heavy truck's production spec payload capacity. However, the Impact Report 2020 claims that because of the higher weight limits for electric semi-trucks in the US and the EU, semi's payload capacity would be higher. In the EU, electric semi-trucks can already carry a load that is two tons heavier than their diesel equivalent. In the US, electric semi-trucks are permitted to carry 0.9 tons more payload than diesel semi-trucks. We anticipate the payload to be at least as high as it would be for a diesel truck, according to the research, because both the US and the EU have allowed a larger weight allowance for electric heavy-duty vehicles. For the past few years, Tesla has made significant strides in the field of battery technology. As a result, the Tesla Semi's truck capacity will be boosted by this as well. The EV maker claims that its 4680 battery cells are significantly more advanced than those used in previous years. In terms of energy density, these battery cells pack a powerful punch. This means that the electric vehicle can carry more freight thanks to the new 4680 battery pack, which reduces its weight. It also has longer battery life. On a single charge, the Semi truck should be able to travel more than 804 kilometers, according to the Tesla Impact Report. Furthermore, it claims that the Tesla semi truck would have a mileage efficiency of more than 0.8 kilometers per kilowatt hour, thanks to its aerodynamics and powerful electric powertrain. In light of the fact that Tesla is investing heavily in a facility to create an electric truck which has not yet demonstrated its viability in the automobile market, we should analyze the implications of this decision carefully. $2.4 billion spent by such a newcomer to the automotive industry on a factory of this size. It is unusual. However, the semi's future appears promising, and it's easy to understand why Tesla thought the program had potential. Enabling the crucial trucking sector to transition to zero emissions will be viewed as a huge technological achievement as well as a win for environmental campaigners who will view Tesla more positively. What are your thoughts on the Tesla Semi and its factory? Let us know in the comments section below.